The headquarters of the main opposition party and other political groups in the Democratic Republic of Congo have been destroyed by fire, leaving a number of people dead. Empty petrol cans were reportedly found inside the burnt-out offices of the UDPS, which is leading protests demanding the president step down. Exasperated, this man says, we're not Congolese, we're foreigners, we're suffering in our own country. The government denies its forces were involved, but witnesses say armed men in uniform began the blaze. As the UN called on all sides to show restraint, the son of the main opposition leader inspected the damage. We won't go on living with such barbarians. The people are angry. The people want to put an end to this dictatorship. For me, it's sad and shocking, this local man says. It's not what we want, and it hurts. The police and the army should be apolitical, but when they get involved in this kind of conflict, it's not at all good. For me, it's deplorable. Two days of violence have left dozens dead, according to the opposition and Human Rights Watch. The authorities put the figure at 17, including three police. Policeman. Monday's protests followed moves to postpone the next presidential election, which is due in November. President Joseph Kabila is barred by constitutional term limits from running again. Demonstrators say the election delays a manoeuvre to keep him in power, something his supporters deny.